Okay, so that was that side. Okay. Let's do this one. Tu ne crois sûrement pas que tu peux me battre. Lily entered the King of Iron Fist tournament again without telling her father this time either. There she was, anyway, there she was, anyway, smiling as the robust, rum, robust crowd looked, oh, looked on and her opponent entered the arena. Lily was set to fight Asuku Kazuma. I'm sure I butchered her name, anyway. Someone she had personally considered her greatest rival for many years. If Lily saw the look of if Lily saw the look of annoyance on Asuka's face, Asuka, Asuka's face, I think it's Asuka. It didn't show. She just walked elegantly to the center of the ring like she owned it. All the while thanking Lady Luck for the opportunity to fight her rival. Someone she had personally considered her greatest rival from Oh no, I already said that. Okay. Round one. Fight. KO. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Come on, bitch. I'm about to twirl all on you. Twirl on that ass. KO. You win. Eloquence. At its finest. She did rotate it like four or five times. That was uncalled for. It really was. She did not need to do that. Okay, so next one is Asuka. I'm gonna call her Asuka. Even if it's not her name. She's gonna be Asuka now. Let's go, Asuka. Okay, since they since they first fought at the Iron Fist tournament, Asuka felt that Lily was taking the whole rivalry nonsense a little too seriously. Asuka recalled Lily's phone call out of the blue a few days earlier. Hey, hello Asuka. I am sure you have heard the news that the King of Iron Fist Tournament is starting again soon. Worry not. I have already been graciously enough to register you for the competition. Not trying to weasel out of it. No trying to weasel out of it. You hear? I am I am ever so looking forward to fighting you. As Asuka let her rage towards Lily. That is a word I cannot even pronounce. Promis prom Nope. Fly down the phone, Lily hung up. Fed up with being treated like a treated like a rich girl's plaything, Asuka thought that maybe if she beat Lily, the conceited little princess would leave her alone. Then again, maybe not. Asuka wondered how could she resolve the situation, but came up with nothing. Eventually she decided to go along with Lily's plan and enter the tournament. Round one. Fight. Damn it. Bitch. Bitch. All right, man. You're weakened. <laughs> Round two. Fight. KO 
you win. Allô Sébastien Oui, comme prévu. Ciao Non, il n'y a qu'une idée en Tu sais, aujourd'hui, je vais emmener chez toi. My house Non, non, non. The fuck are you talking about? Me moving to my house Et je vais apprendre les arts martiaux plastiques de Steve Kazama. Euh, non. Hein Détends-toi Tout est réglé. Je viens d'acheter ta maison et ton dojo. Et ma dojo. Je sais tout de toi, Asuka. Ton père a été battu par Fenway. Le Ted pratique le Kenpo et il a perdu ses élèves et son argent. Ta famille n'avait pas les moyens de réparer ton vélo. Et encore moins le dojo. J'ai aussi étudié ton arbre généalogique. C'était très intéressant. On dirait que tu pourrais facilement être entraîné dans les histoires de Mishima. Oh, j'ai oublié de te dire. J'ai fait nettoyer ton dojo. Et je l'ai fait décorer avec des pétales de fleurs. Ton père était enchanté. Nous devrions rentrer à la maison. Tout de suite. Allez, dépêche-toi. Personne n'aime les traînards. I know y'all saw her like crip walking. She was in that. She was in that uh, elegant crip walk. She was mm, back and forth, up and down. I was like, really? You you just doing all that as you talking? That's that's wild. Okay, so we still have, we have two more. So we'll finish these two, this page, and we'll be done for this recording, and then do the next. God damn, there's some more left to do. Let's go, all right, yeah. So we'll do this page, and then we'll call this an end of this recording. Yes, it goes. Lingu. That's the name. Uh, infiltrated the Mashiba Zaibatsu building in the search for information related to Jin Kazama's disappearance. Creeping deeper, creeping deeper into the enemy's territory under the guard's nose. Under the guard's nose, she eventually heard Heihachi Mishima's voice coming from her room. She was giving orders about locating Jin. He was giving orders about locating Jin, just as Shui. I don't know. Uh, was about to speak into the room, a man dressed in all white emerged and pushed her back. Take me to Jin, she demanded, unflinching. The man stood there for a moment before ordering her to follow him. Uh, she led her to the room and then slightly and silently turned towards her and redeemed himself, readied himself, there you go, readied himself to fight. Uh, she took up her fighting stance and said, so that's how it is. If you think I'm just some little girl, you're sadly mistaken. Her fighting style is the hardest Round for me. One. Fight. Like every move she does is an extension of something else. Like I might need to actually look at this difficulty two. level. I might do that on the next one. Damn. Damn. See, as soon as I talk about raising the difficulty level, then y'all wanna start playing. Then y'all wanna start acting right. Acting right. Seriously? This is this what we doing? This is what we doing. Oh, you mother. You did not swing. You could me. Final round. Fight. See what I mean? Damn it. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm down. Bitch. Round one. Fight. K. 
KO. You tried it, bitch. Round two. Fight. Nope. You tried it. Nope. Nope. Whoa! Whoa! Just as I fled. I meant to do all of that. The, 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 the leap over you, the leap back over you, the elbow. Meant to all that. Like I said, I'm not some little girl after all. B -b -b Baka. D'accordo. Ti permetto di venire con me. Yatta! Ma dovrai essere pronta. Mm. Wakatteru. Demo. Bene. Era quello che volevo sentirti dire. What's with all these people having menacing kanji around them? Okay, hold on, guys. Uh, all right, so now we're doing uh, Clado, Cladet, Cladet, Clido, Clido. A lot of these people's names, I can't tell you. Niente di più facile. This Cyrus, Cyrus the Cyrus Marksman. Serious, serious, serious Marksman. Uh, a secret society of exorcists has excluded a profound inf influence on European history for hundreds of years. The most powerful exorcist of the current generation is Claudio. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. Who was visiting the Masit Mas... Hey, how'd you Mishima? Mishima Zaibatsu. Mishima Zaibatsu. Mishima Zaibatsu. Mishima Zaibatsu. Mishima Zaibatsu. I'm gonna get this. Mishima Zaibatsu as their group joined forces to subdue a certain evil. EVIL! After searching, after sharing information on the target, Kazuya Mashima, Kazuya Mashima, Mashima, Kahachi Mashima, Kazuya, Kazuya Mashima, and Jin Kazama, Kaido left the control room only to confront by a little girl. He was about to call the guards when she demanded to be taken to Jin. A plan, a plan sprung to Kaido's mind. He led her to the roof, and with a grin, prepared to face her in combat. Sarà un piacere combattere contro di te. Round one. Fight. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Il mio potere. Do my power. Look at them thinking of this. That is. Fight. Wait a minute. That's my arm, bitch. That's my arm. This shit's about to step on my nuts too, I saw that. Piacere combattere contro di te. Round one. Fight. KO. Round two. Fight. 
Give me what you got. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. I gotta get some fight. I gotta get my turn to fight. My turn. Mom said it's my turn to play. Damn. Mom said it's my turn to hit. Look at him, look at him, Riz. There Riz. Damn, that didn't kill him. All right. There we go. Had to finish him. Come desideri? As you wish. Puoi unirti a me. I will let you join me. Credo. I think. Che sarai un'ottima esca per la mia preda. Just every character has menacing kanji, and I'm here for all of it. Okay. Katara and Gigas. Deixa eu te testar para ver se você luta de verdade. Okay. Katara Advis lost both her parents at a young age and spent several years at an orphanage before being adopted by a man she never met. Intentionally, 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 I think. Uh, Katara rebelled against him using a whole mean, a whole, wait a minute, using a, a whole manner of profound language. But the man's kindness and patience eventually wore her hand, wore her hard exterior down. There we go. I'm gonna get this reading thing down one of these days. In time, they grew close through her penance for profound language remain. Though her penance for profound language remain. I don't even know if that's penance. One day, uh, Katara's adoptive father, van adopted father vanished. And as much as she wanted to find him, she lacked the money to do so. Then she learned of the King of Iron Fist Tournament. The savory techniques this man had taught her gave Katara hope that she could win and take the money to take the prize money. The day of the first match arrived, and the arena was was none other than the the roof of the G Corporation's Millionaire Tower, Monumental Tower, Millionaire Tower, Monumental Monumental Tower. Uh, when Katara first laid eyes on her opponent, all she was was a all she all she saw was. Enormous hulk of muscle. There we go. Hold on a second. When Katara first laid eyes on her opponent, all she saw was an enormous hulk of muscle. There was no way he could be human. Cai pra dentro, sua aberração. It's not really one. bad language, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you rock it. Down.
I like the Spanish guitar though. That that was a nice touch. That really was. It was like dun 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 dun. Gigas. Okay. One of G Corporation's weapons device division. One of G Corporation's weapons division entered their latest bio weapon, Gigas, into the King of Iron Fist tournament for two reasons. First, to pit the strength of their next-gen humanoid weapon against a similar weapon of G Corporation, and second, to provoke to provoke a Hachi Mishima. Ooh. Ironically, the first the first battle was staged on top of the on the rooftop of G Corporation's own millionaire mile, million, mm, monumental tower. Sure. Uh, possibly in retort for their uh, affront to Heihachi, unmoved by the striking beauty of the lens of the skyscraper, Gigas awaited his victim. Round one. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> too heavy I hate bulky characters So if y'all didn't realize, clearly Gigas is her long lost father, um, or adoptive father. But that will be the end of this recording. Thank you guys very much for stopping by. I'm gonna try and cut this down um, to make this um, able to be able to watch, especially with all the cuts in between it um, and my broken English. Uh, but if you guys like what you see, please remember to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I'm posting, give this video a like, share, um, and comment if you like. Just tell me, you know, how easy that was to beat the first boss after I put it down to easy mode and I cheated, as well as, you know, what you think about the, the game so far. Um, I'm glad I'm almost done with this. It looks like we have one, two and three more uh, pages left uh, maybe a total of maybe 10 more fights left i think i might be wrong let's see six uh 12 i was wrong <clears throat> uh 15 17 more fights 17 more fights okay so yeah um i'll catch you guys again later peace <laughs>